This is Twit. What would Mary Jo Foley do? <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> That's our question of the day. Yep. Um, so right now, as our listeners and viewers know, I've been going out on a limb, running Windows 11 on one of my machines, been in the dev channel, but Microsoft gave us a little warning recently and said, we're going to move the dev channel to start focusing on features which we may or may never ship. So it's going to become Ooh. more unstable. So this is me seeing red, red flashing lights. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So I moved to the beta channel this week inside of my insider settings just to make sure that I can stay on Windows 11 as it continues to evolve up to the point of RTM and shipping. That's what you need to do. If you want to stay on Windows 11, you need to get out of the dev channel right now and go to beta or release preview. Okay, what if I never did it? Stay. Should I go to beta now and it would get it or no? If you, if you go to beta yeah. now, um, you're going to end up in the kind of bleeding edge channel oh. going forward, which will be so some features that. some features that may make it in someday and some But if I go to release channel, that. I won't get anything new. I will release have to preview wait. you'll just release preview, you'll just get Windows eleven when it's almost ready to roll, right? right? right. Okay. Um but beta channel's the best one, I think, for for most people who want to continue <laughs> to watch how Windows 11 evolves. That's what Mary Jo Foley would do. That's what I would do. Paul Therott, Mary I'm sure, jo would do something completely different. <laughs> of course he would. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying in the dev channel. But um, right. I agree that this is uh, the smarter thing to do. And it, it's okay. somewhat unique in the Insider program to be able to go back and forth between beta and mm -hmm. dev. Right. So yep. that was a nice thing for Microsoft to do. It was very good. Yeah, they sent yeah. notes out to people by email who are in the in the Windows 11 testing group and just said, hey, by the way, if you don't want the instability and like you want to stay on Windows 11, get out of the dev channel. So I, I, like, I don't know if, if anybody... If I want more instability? Is that a thing? <laughs> I know. If you want more instability, you got to stay in a new cha Canary channel, right? Um, <laughs> right. Most that's but that's what Canary means. It is. Usually, like if you want right? to be on the most cutting edge yeah. channel and you don't care if things work. You're the or don't canary work. in the coal mine. Sometimes canaries yeah. Yeah. pass out and fall off their perch. Exactly. Now I saw some reports of people saying they were trying to get out of the dev channel and they when they went to go to the beta channel, they, the box was grayed out. So yeah. they couldn't get out. Did you see that? Yeah, I didn't I, see I've, it personally, I've experienced but. Uh, yeah, I've uh, actually what is going on here? I don't even have a Windows Insider. You don't? Thing. Oh, 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 no, I do. I'm sorry. They moved the You're cheese. You're in your sorry. own channel. You have a special channel for yourself. <laughs> no, no, I found it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, no, I had <laughs> I had a, a similar problem where I had a, I, in fact, I did it when I was in Mexico because I wasn't sure about the second computer. Mm. So I brought up Windows. Mm. I, I wanted to clean install Windows 11 in a virtual machine. I didn't have mm. the ISOs with me at the time. Now they have a public one, but we'll get to that. And so I installed Windows 10. And then I went up, I went to upgrade, I went to mm -hmm. go to the Insider program, and the only thing available to me was the, re the release channel, release preview channel, which at the time was just for, is, and maybe it's still today, it's just for Windows 10. It's just for like the next mm -hmm. version of Windows 10. And I was like, huh. So I looked that up, and it turns out this is a weird bug, and there's a couple of registry changes you can make. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're not seeing dev and or beta channel in Insider settings, uh, you should go Google that because there's a there's a quick thing you can do. You, you got to make a registry change, reboot, and then they they popped up and they and that's been working fine for me. So oh good, good. yeah maybe that's now if you want to but if you want to stay on Windows 10 and test 21 H2 which is coming out this fall right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you, you what can't. channel are you supposed to be in you can't <laughs> so right this, uh, you like, can't so this is this is uh, th listen <laughs> no one's gonna understand what I'm about to say. This is okay. really confusing. I'm ready. If you as an individual <laughs> right now say, you know what? That is what I want to test. Yeah. I want to get 21H2. Right. You have to roll a computer that doesn't meet the Windows 11 hardware requirements. Uh, no, you can't. Okay. I'm sorry. You can't even do that now. You can't. Because right oh. now, if you just join the Insider program now and your machine doesn't mm -hmm. meet the requirements, Microsoft actually will let you in. The only people who are testing that are people who are already in the Insider program, were in release preview, and their hardware didn't meet the requirements. Those people, okay. that small subset, were pushed into 21H2 testing. The, okay. So right now, release preview is two different things, uh, yeah, depending right. on where your system requirements are. So 
Hmm. Yeah, you can't. I don't. I don't believe anyone new can get into that right now. Okay. And maybe that changes, okay. but that's my understanding. Okay. Got it. Thank that's good to know because I'm new and I'm taking I that out of the yeah. back of my mind like a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a pearl in the or something. Yeah. So if if you don't know where you are, look up your Windows Insider <laughs> app on um, Windows 11. <laughs> <laughs> Type right. in Windows Insider Turn on settings. The light. <laughs> yep. Make sure you're where you want to be. If you're not, try to fix this is, it. <laughs> this is one update I'm really kind of con very content not to be testing. Yeah. To be Which honest. one? 21H2? Just or yeah, No, 11. 11. 21H2. 11. Yeah. Even 21H2, I don't want to. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. you know. Nothing there. I mean, there's nothing to test. That's the po kind of the point to I me, know. even with 11, is yeah. I, I don't really need, there's nothing I need to see. You need nothing to see to more see rounded here. corners. No, That's what you need I don't. to see. <laughs> I don't. But Leo, newer is always better. I don't understand your opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I'm unique in that yeah. regard. Isn't That's usually the case. I want yeah. the latest. I don't care what it is. Yeah. I don't care how I get it. I want it. Yeah. You know, the reason I decided to test it was I wanted to see how different 10 was from 11 because right. my readers are IT pros and they're yeah. people. And yeah. I, I wanted to see how much people it's were going to freak out yeah. when they saw that change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how about, by the way, how much do you think they are going to freak out? I mean, what's your uh, so opinion on I didn't freak out at all, which is a good indicator yeah. that most people will be able to figure it out. But I've heard from a sure. lot of IT pros saying, nope, this is going to be a horrible time <laughs> with my help desk. People are going to, especially the new start menu um, when they start seeing, they won't see the apps off to the side anymore. And I'm like, oh right. boy, yeah, okay. I think this so is going to we'll impact <laughs> power users more than regular users. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't the do the right click on the taskbar, right? Yeah, there's like, all kinds of stuff like that. Yep. Right, right. Yep. I think that's going to be, but you know, yeah. again, I, as I said, uh, you know, probably a few weeks ago, those are the people who can work around those things. Right. So it, and, it's better and they want to learn new things. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. No, people big in stuff companies. In release, but, yeah. So. No, there are people in companies who have to use whatever their company rolls out to them. Right. And you don't yeah. have a choice. You just one day you're, you come in and you got windows 11 instead of 10. Right. And right. you know, some companies will just be like, you know, suck it up. You're going to just start using this and you'll figure it out. Other ones right. will be like, oh, here's the help desk number. And if you can't find your start menu or your documents or figure out why things are centered and it's bothering you, then call us. Right? <laughs> Actually, don't call us. Don't call Actually, us. don't call us. No. But, you know, right. here's the number right. to some other help desk at another company. Call them. <laughs> yeah. Call them. Yep. Here's Paul Therott's number. Call that guy. Well, here's Leo's uh, radio dial. Uh, 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 um, yeah, that's where they call. Are you kidding? That's exactly where they call. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we think we think the release will come out around October sometime, probably like Pat, you know, Pat Shusay or the week after or whatever, right? So right. that's when you're going to start hearing from people as it starts rolling.